Hello everyone and welcome to Terry Technique. Today I'm back with another brand new video and uh, in this video uh, we installed, I'll be talking about the screen we installed in this particular BMW F10 uh, 2010 model. This is a 535i. Uh, this is an Android screen that we replaced it with uh, its original screen. Uh, so I'll be talking about very quickly about the functions and uh, uh, what it offers you and is it worth uh, replacing or not. First of all, this is an Android, uh, uh, latest Android 13 and the latest uh, theme as well. If you can see, uh, this is the theme of the uh, the colors and everything. It's from the latest BMWs, the G80s, G20s or the, the new uh, M3s. Uh, so uh, very beautiful screen. This is a 10.25 inch. We also have uh, uh, the other screen that is 12.3 inch or the 10.25 inches that sticks out sticks out like the, in the newer bmws like the uh, g30s uh, 5 series g30s from the year model 2018 and upwards up to 2024 so uh, we have all type of screens for all type of bmws uh, this comes with a built-in apple carplay android auto uh, and all the all the function that is needed this car uh, came with the original backup camera as well uh, so uh, the, we connected the same original backup camera with this car and how it works is as soon as I put the car in the reverse the back camera will come up uh, it will show the sensors here the lines and the, the steering once I steer it shows me the left and right uh, I can uh, also as soon as I put it in the neutral and uh, when I start driving the the screen the this this goes away uh, I can show it right now so if I put it in the in the gear handbrake down and if I move the car forward right now it's in the original menu but uh, for instance if I drive forward a little bit and it will go away I can back up the car so I don't I can show you guys more functions to it can put on the handbrake can turn off so if for instance you're sitting in the parking and if you wanna uh, if you have put the car in the reverse and once you put it in the neutral and if you want this to go away you can just simply click on the menu button and or if you have a parking sensor button you click on this it will go away it's as simple as that so this is an Android screen so it all comes with all the Android uh, applications it has a Play Store which allows you to download any kind of application whether it's YouTube Spotify Netflix whatever you want comes with the original DSP system equalizer so if you have a base uh, uh, if you have any um, sound uh, upgrades to the sound you can connect it to the screen and um, uh, and basically change the quality of the sound from the screen uh, you also have the Apple CarPlay as I mentioned which is called Z-Link I have already connected it how it works is it's wireless so I have another phone here uh, which I have connected via Bluetooth to the screen and then it allows me to use the Apple CarPlay so I can use the, the touch as well or I can use the, the iDrive in order to use the Apple CarPlay and if I want to go back to the Android screen I just simply click on the car it will take me back to the Android screen and then if I have downloaded the YouTube I can play the videos and so on um, um yeah if we go to the main menu here you have the music uh, the phone um this is the bluetooth basically um this is the bluetooth has two functions of course it also has a built-in microphone and if the car has the original microphone which all almost all the bmws have it uses the original microphone in this case it is located here i think the original microphone so it will use the original one you can also connect an aftermarket one if your original one is not working or it's not in good quality but uh, if you don't have original one if you don't want to install an aftermarket one it comes with a built-in microphone so you don't need to do anything the other function this blues has is of course the bt music you can see it on the left hand side which allows you to play songs through your phone to the car so once uh, i click here and i can i right now i'm connected to apple carplay but once i play any music from my phone whether it's on youtube or whatever i can i will be able to hear it in the car and of course all the steering wheel buttons they work as normal all these uh, everything works as normal this screen uh, works uh, with the car's original combo system so even if i like for instance uh, go to the uh, if I want to use the older older screen for instance I can click on car info here and it will 
uh, bring me back to the original screen, the original uh, menu of the car. And and I right now uh, the the keys are not in the car, so it will show me. Uh, it's showing me this. So if I want to go back to the main screen, I just simply click on the screen. It will go back. Uh, then music if you want to play music or videos uh, Through a USB drive if you have a USB drive which in which we have saved songs and videos or anything And you want to play it through that we also send all the connectors and cables with the screen in this case We have installed two USB uh, on that side on the left hand side so you just insert in the USB and you come to music or the video in order to play the 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 songs or the to watch the the videos uh, navigation of course you can use any navigation software whether it's google maps waze sidejig uh, we also uh, give one offline navigation free of cost with a screen which is called igo navigation that doesn't requires any internet in order to navigate uh, but if you want to use google maps and so on uh, on the screen not on apple carplay you would need internet in the uh, the screen and how you do it is it also has a wi-fi i can share it from my phone and uh, then i will have internet in the screen or you can also insert a sim card on this side here you take out this plastic and i can insert a sim card here for data purposes and i can use youtube and everything but if you don't want to do that of course you can connect it to the apple carplay as i have done and here i have already 4g from my phone it also supports 5g uh, in, it also supports 5g uh, wi-fi as well um, i can use uh, navigation i don't have any on my phone but i can use maps or google maps or ways if i download it on my phone it will come up here then uh, another very cool feature some modules here you can change the theme and stuff the red one if you have a m uh, package car <laughs> Uh, you can go to telephone, of course, dashboard. This is this shows me the the speed and the the the, the rev meter. But this is taken from the G20 or uh, no, sorry, the G80 and F80, the new BMWs, um, uh, the LCI models. So it works perfectly fine. It even shows me how much fuel I have left, 50 liter. In the original car, it doesn't show me; it just shows me the needle. Here, it shows me exactly how much how many liters I have left shows me which door is open so i can close this door this one is open all right yeah uh shows me the handbrake and some other stuff and if i rev the car for instance you see here i don't want to rev it too much it's not my personal car it's very snappy and works perfectly with the cluster uh, this is you can also do it. and if you're playing a song for instance you can have it in the middle like this and you can just change it from here you know like uh, this is an offline but and you have to have internet so we go back here to the home menu, settings, the video, of course. Um, you can even watch videos while driving. And I can just give you a snip how good the quality is. This is Ultra HD, full, full HD quality. Doesn't matter if you're playing from a USB or a YouTube or anywhere. Um, so it's a really good quality, you can see that. I can go back again, I don't want copyrights. You can also add widgets like shortcuts, Apple CarPlay here, maybe something else, YouTube, Spotify, up, up to you. So this is basically it. This is the screen we have. And uh, even though if you don't, if your car doesn't have our original backup camera, we can, uh, you can connect basically any camera with this uh, original camera uh, the, from the factory if the car has it, or an aftermarket backup camera, front parking camera, front uh, monitoring camera, which is called DVR which you can um, install it here, connect it with the screen through the USB, and then it will save all the videos on the screen. So, um, and then you can basically, yeah, you can install more than one cameras. You can install one front, one maybe on the back, like the DVRs, like the monitoring camera. You can do that as well. So that's it. And uh, if you have any questions, queries, don't do not hesitate to ask me in the comment section. You can also, if you live in Stockholm, Sweden, you can visit us. We have a warehouse in um, uh, Solentuna, uh, Malwagen 18D, the address. I will leave down um, more information in the description below, our email, our phone number, and uh, everything. And uh, uh, that's it for today. I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.